Okay, so we've made our, our slide box and it slides nicely along the boom. Um, next, we want to glue some stops along on both sides because what happens is as it slides forward, it's going to really slam this uh, stop right here. Um, and basically what's going to happen is the top, this piece right here, is going to get all munched. <laughs> That's what happens when it hits really hard. So we're going to alleviate that problem by putting some stops along the side. And that's where the extra pieces of wood come in. Um, so basically what we want is um, two pieces and they're each going to be like a quarter inch by a quarter inch square. Um, they don't have to be exact. So I'm, I'm going to use the nice straight edge here. And I'm just going to cut a strip approximately a quarter of an inch. And now I'll cut two squares. When I do something small, I always put my finger, try to get it on top of it so it doesn't slide around on me. So that's why you see me doing that. Okay, so I got two little squares and I'm just going to take a pencil here and I'm going to mark on both sides right where the edge is going to have to be. And these have a little bit of a grain direction. So um, make the grain go along the boom. That's going to be the strongest part. So I'm just going to put that there like that. And uh, then I'm going to just touch some glue to the edge. And I will wipe off any excess. And I'll flip it over and do the other side. Take some of my accelerator, and this instantly hardens the super glue. And now, when I slide my slide across, it should hit like right there. Okay, so the last time I told you we wanted to put the tail fins on, and so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, since this is a symmetrical airfoil, it doesn't matter which is the top or the bottom. Um, if you have one side that has more curvature than the other, put the side with the more curvature on the bottom. So that um, this will be, they'll, they'll give you a little bit more decollage, which is that angle down. Um, so then you'll note on here, once you put it into the tab, that it stops right there. So I don't need any glue past here. I want to get a little glue in the tab. comes out the back side just go ahead and smear it around that's fine now you do want to check this um, and make sure that it's perfectly perpendicular to the to the boom so go ahead and just kind of hold it up and sight along make sure that it's not tilted one way or the other 
uh, because that's bad. Uh, that's going to basically cause the rocket to turn and we want it to go nice and straight. Okay, Make sure your boom is on there before you put that on because once, once this is on, you're never going to slide that past it. All right, and now we'll go ahead and glue the vertical tail. So I put glue on the, the bottom edge. And put that in there and then slide it backwards so that it engages the front edge of that horizontal tail. And as before, we want to sight along the boom and make sure that it's perfectly straight up and perpendicular to the horizontal tail. And if you look down here, I got it off to one side a little bit, so I need to slide it over. As you can see that tab, equal, equal amount of tab on both sides. And then we'll sight along. And we're going to let that dry. Um, and then in the next video, we'll go ahead and put the wing on.